in this video, I will talk about the get allocations and trades method that you can see here. Let me open it so that you can take a look at what's inside. There are many API calls and conversions. Let's first understand the intuition. Once that I know the allocations I need to create from our model output, I need to consider our actual positions, if any, and make the necessary adjustments, whether if it is buying X or Y amount, or if I need to sell it. The trading activity will be done in the trade target portfolio method, although I first need to know which are those trading actions. I initially get the current positions, and also account for not having any of them, which will be the case in the initial setup of the trading strategy. After that, based on a total AUM percentage value of 95% to leave some cash, I want to get the actual invest invested fraction, which is basically how much I'm actually invested globally in my portfolio. With that value, I multiply the allocations to have the final view of the allocations I have based on equity value, because the allocations are based on the actual position's equity, invested sum, not on the total equity. After getting all this data, I will input the actual positions dictionary together with the final allocations dictionary I got from the model and the equity value to the final trades calculation method. Let's go there. The final trades calculation method will loop over the two dictionaries, the actual one and the one that holds the final allocation fractions and consider all the possibilities that may happen. If I actually have a position, I will calculate the rebalancing change I need to make. And I will get it as negative capital value if I need to sell that amount or positive if I need to buy it. If I don't have a position, I will just add the capital allocation I need to make as if I haven't added before. Other way in which you could do this is just closing all the positions previously doing any rebalancing, and this way the implementation will be much more easier. However, you will be paying more trading fees because of that, and that will harm your ability to make profits. Finally, the execution allocations dictionary will have the capital allocations I need to make and whether I need to buy or sell based on its positive or negative, and a boolean flag to know if that Darwin was actually on our portfolio or not. This last bit is necessary for the following method in which I will execute the trading strategy decisions. See you in that one.